brain tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows Spotlight for desktop on Windows 11 rolled out recently as a new feature as I have posted previously, where before that um, Windows Spotlight was only available on the lock screen on both Windows 10 and 11, and as mentioned is now a new feature, Windows Spotlight for desktop on Windows 11, where you get um, different daily images of the day that Microsoft rolls out. Um, you get about four to six new images, give or take every day, and then those do change more or less on a, every on, on a 24 hour basis every 24 hours and if you right click on the uh, Windows Spotlight desktop icon on your desktop you can click on switch to next picture and then just choose a um, image that you as an example would like to keep as your wallpaper and your background for the day. Now um, since the feature rolled out I have been using Spotlight on desktop for my desktop backgrounds and wallpapers and in that regard I have been getting uh, quite a few uh, requests and comments um, on the channel asking from viewers where they can download and get the images displayed on my Windows 11 um, desktop in the videos. So um, in this video I thought um, it would be a good time uh, just to make a video to show you how you can find the Windows 11 desktop spotlight images, their location and how you can save them manually for future use and reference. And um, the images that do roll out every day for the uh, desktop spotlight um, are actually saved um, onto your local drive, although it's not easy to um, find them as they are hidden in an app data folder that's a hidden folder. So um, if you would like to um, save an image, so as an example I like this image which I do, so now I want to save this and keep it permanently for future use and reference. How to get to the Windows 11 uh, Spotlight, the uh, desktop images location and how to save them manually in Windows 11. We just head to the File Explorer, head over to your C drive or the drive your operating system is installed on and yeah, we want to go to View, Show, if you haven't done so already and enable hidden items which will show the hidden folders and files because uh, the, the images are, like, are located in a hidden folder. Then we navigate to Users, your main user folder, open that. And then you navigate to App Data, which is a hidden folder. And then you uh, click on Local. And yeah, you want to go and navigate to Packages. Double click on that and open that. And this is where the folder is located with the images. And I suggest, yeah, just go to View and uh, click on Large Icons because it just makes reading the text a lot easier as, as it is quite a mouthful and quite a, a long title. So what we're going to look for here is a folder called Microsoft Windows Content Delivery Manager. So just to scroll down, Microsoft Windows I'm looking for first of all. So I'm just going to find that Microsoft Windows. Here we go. So it's called Microsoft.WindowsContentDeliveryManager and ends in EWR. So I'm just going to say that again. Microsoft.Windows.ContentDeliveryManager and all that ends in EWR. So that's the folder you need to navigate to and open. And then we go to um, local state, open that folder. And yeah, we need to open assets. And this is where the daily images are located. And as you can see, there are some here from previous days. And um, this will change periodically, but you will more or less find the image you are looking for here. And here's the image that was uh, displayed that I wanted to save uh, manually. So what I do is I'm just going to copy that and I'm just going to head to my pictures and paste it in there. But now you'll see when I paste it in it is basically um, there's no image viewed. That's because it's lost its image properties um, copying and pasting it from that um, that uh, Windows Microsoft Windows Content Delivery Manager local state assets folder. It's lost its image properties. So all we do here in this regard, you can rename the title, obviously. Um, I'm going to re keep the title and I'm just going to put .jpg on the end. So .jpg. So it turns it into a JPEG image and hit enter and you can see there's the image. And now if I just click on that, you can see the size is 700, 781 kilobits and um, it's 1920 by 1080 p that's the dimension and I'm just going to open that and there I have my standalone image now that I've saved uh, from uh, the uh, 
a Windows a Spotlight desktop images. And now if I want to use that um, as my wallpaper, as an example, you could just right click on that and set as des desktop background. And if I head there now, Windows Spotlight has um, been removed and I've replaced that now with that Windows Spotlight desktop image that I've saved manually now from the uh, Microsoft.Windows Content Delivery Manager folder, Local State Assets folder, and that's where it was located. So that's how you can find uh, those Spotlight images for your desktop on Windows 11 and save them manually for uh, future use and reference. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.